There was next time. I suppose there is. <laughs> he looks just fine to me. It's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you are allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest what? regards, Constance. sale. <laughs> Silly. There's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. 77. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Colombia? <laughs> all right, then. The winner is number 77! Well, what do you know? Number 77, come and claim your prize! First throw! you get that brand? Uh, Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys!
told you, Comstock. You sell them paradise, and the customers expect cherubs for every chore. <laughs> no menials in God's kingdom. <laughs> well, I have a man in Georgia who leases us as many Negro convicts as you can board. Why, you can say they're simple souls in penance for rising above their station. <laughs> Whatever eases your conscience, I suppose. Getting hot. What's going on? Thank <laughs> you. 
following me. We were only here. Why are you following us? I... Surprising. Surprising that it worked. Surprising that it didn't kill him. If it doesn't kill you. Father Comstock called on me today to write his biograph. Me. The man pays for exactly 100 pages in advance. Now, I'm half a Jew when I smell silver, so I say, I say, Father, your flock would pay for a thousand. You know, well, I'd settle for less. And then the prophet looks to me and says, 100 will suffice as I know how it ends. No! Oh! <laughs> Damn hook must be magnetized.
these poor Negroes to do. How they treat them. It was bound to happen. Violence is not a foregone conclusion. Ah! Oh! Tim, the one they're after. No.
bomb shot came by the wagon at dawn. Man was just, he just transfixed by my trophy scalps. Asked about the white ones there. I said, well, sir, if your quarry dwells in the jungle and beds down with the local color, why split hairs? <laughs> Not a chuckle out of him. Either he ain't seen a man go native or maybe, maybe too many. Anyhow, now it's got me hunting down this Daisy Fitzroy. Hope we don't expect me to stuff in my hair. <laughs> yeah.